On the 21st of January 2024, at about 11.50 hours, an intelligence was received from our unit that the syndicate, the, the, about the activities of the syndicate of gun fabricators to gun runners operating in Plateau State. We received all the information Special duty in the state charge of the information, our IRL team men sunk into action and of course were able to arrest these suspects, Pam Chong and Jacob Fagni, both men of different addresses in just South local government. During the investigation, they said Jacob Chong confessed that he has been in the business of fabricating locally made revolver guns for the past five years. Why the said Jacob Fagne bought two of the guns from him at the rate of 40,000 and 50,000 respectively. For locally made or fabricated revolver guns of G3 ammunition and cartridges carrier cardivars were recovered from the said Pam Tong. Which one is Pam Tong? Bashim and Kofumana. Can you speak English? No, I don't speak English. Eh? No. no. You speak Pigeon. You can speak, speak Pigeon. Pigeon. Small, small. Small, small. Can I, can I, can I? Mm, can what is your name? Pam. Pam Trump. Pam Trump. Pam Trump. Pam Trump. Pam Trump. Pam Trump. Where are you from? From, from just south. From just south. Yeah. How long have you been doing this business of so, making guns? Yeah, I'm going to go to the I a year plus now. Now, now. What led to this business? Uncashe Kenny Nani, Mobuni, Uncashe, the Lily and the Nina say, and Nacha Kai, full and Nidas now, which are Nacha Nibes and Yang, and say, I'll go Kashi Nako. Is it all? Yes. They keep one of his brother, and that's why he ventured into that. that. Yes. Yes, mm. Okay. Why he ventured into it? You know what the situation where they will come and kill you. That is for self defense. But you have been selling these guns for long. No. When I said that she, when I bought you, Nani, Muna, Muna vigilante. Is she hunter? Is she vigilante? Is she not a cheap bird in jail? Is she? Is it? That said, is she? Yes. Who give them authority to make it do the gun and the sense? But when they are buying authority, but tell her you know it's not a criminal offense to do. Nothing left. You know, no, no. I see they do it. Do it. I've been a devil. Hey. Nothing. Man, you are doing it. But Who taught you how to make, how to design the guns and how you make them? Who taught you? Did you go to school? Are you a graduate? Okay, you said you was not taught that. It's just uh, trial and error and got to that. Okay, gentlemen of the press, you are going to see the guns where we get there. So what do you want government to do for you? So you want to take Government to forgive you. Yes. Okay. 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 I will relay your message to the government of Nigeria. They will decide on what to do with you. But you have committed an offense. And we think with this, uh, we will charge you to court and do what we should under the law. But if there's a way, there's anything they want to do about you because you're actually going after those who fabricate these guns for people locally. They do us more harm than good. Those who are talented should be helpful to the government, to our security operatives or agencies so that we can have more of them on our side. 
But because of what they want to gain, peculiar gains of economic gains, they have decided to be fabricating and making fine, 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 uh, beautifully looking uh, guns that they sell to wrong hands and criminals who are killing innocent Nigerians, killing our security operatives. We will continue to go after them. It is not my duty or the duty of the police to say we want to do something for them. But we can only discuss on what we do so that possibly we can deliberate on how to cope up the fabrication of these locally, uh, these guns in Nigeria. It's very common in that area and we have arrested many of them. We are still going to arrest more. more. Arrest of kidnappers. Mamuda Akilo. Halaji Saleh Samaila. Sahabi Abu Bakar. Are they here? Yeah. I locally fabricated assault guns from them. them. And, and AK-47 ammunition. In the aftermath of the arrest of Mamuda Akilu, following a petition lodged by one Alaji Saleh Samaila of Tandama village in the Danja area of Kassina State, a Stalin twist as a march. Mamuda Akilu, upon apprehension, voluntarily provided a statement that not only implicated Alaji Saleh, also led to the discovery of a locally fabricated assault gun, accompanied by eight rounds of AK-47 ammunition on the 24th of January 2024. Subsequent intelligence gathering efforts resulted in the apprehension of two additional suspects believed to be members of Sali, Alaji Saleh's syndicate. Saabi Abu Bakar, one of the arrested individuals, confessed to his involvement in the kidnapping of Alaji Baturi from Tandama. He also disclosed that Alaji Saleh Samaila, along with one Abdul Salah and other accomplices, orchestrated the kidnapping of Alaji Saleh. Where's Alaji Saleh? but but come you you ask him you wrote petition to the police petition reporting reporting yeah, what is the name of the second guy? Ni na ima mamu de petition dominia chese kashini. Saka sak e saka saka moko suna hata kai de ansa kai suna kashi jama a haka nang wa inda basa jiba basa gani ba kuma abin abin chika aji ni du 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 Nigeria ba onda de chega lehi na na nera berban tapa zua kuhuru mwe unga. Okay, talk talk talk. Jirani, anka le. What you talk? I wrote petition against Mahmouda that Mahmouda is um, collaborating with armed bandits. But they arrested you in your in your house. They, they recovered one gun and ammunition. Ask him. What did they do? What did that one they do? Alhamdulillah. Bindiga da kaba ni te ita galimu akabu. Galimu galimu akabu akai kidnap in in Ghana. That they came to their village to come and kidnap. That they came to their village to come and kidnap one of. The brother. The after the kidnap of his brother, the village head now asks them. Uh, from what they heard from the governor that if they can get anything to protect themselves with uh, that was how he acquired the AK-47 uh, rifle Where did he get the AK-47 rifle? Kumani make na Bindiga na inda na sawo shi chan ale wada bakwole na sawo shi maki edine kye yin shi Okay, he said he got it from one um, 
and locally made uh, fabricator that is into from Casinaco. A Casinaco. Nera Dubuta Latina say it. I bought it for 30,000. Okay, okay, you can hear from him that um, proliferation of harms is a problem that we need to collectively tackle in this country. That they just buy harms as if they buy buy or do not, and that's why the IGP has given a matching order to all our tactical courts to go after this criminally minded element, to mop up harms from wrong hands, so they can have a safer society in this country. Criminal conspiracy, kidnapping, murder, and low possession of firearms. Abaka Idris from Angwa Gede Federal Capital Territory, Kabiru Sulaiman, male, from Dikoi, his four, Abuja. On January 25, 2024, at Indawa yesterday, a decisive operation conducted by IRT operatives based, based on incredible intelligence resulted in the arrest of two individuals. Abaka Idris from Mangua Gede, Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, and Kabiru Slaiman from Jikoi, Phase 4, Abuja. The new forms a notorious kidnapping syndicate operating within the Federal Capital Territory and its environs. In 2023, Abaka Idris led a syndicate and with for seeking for several rifles, rifles in the kidnapping of Dan Baijie male in the Abaji area of the Federal Capital Territory. It's a known case. They are Criminal endeavor was thwarted by the military in a gunfight resulting in the loss of one gang member, Lady Janga, and the fortunate escape of the victim. The self syndicate, spearheaded by Abubakar Idris and Kabiru Sulaiman, was responsible for a kidnapping incident at the Tutun. Uku Aziz of Nasarawa State in April 2023. This syndicate is also implicated in the kidnapping and subsequent murder of Sakin Tinsia in Kankara local government of Kasina State earlier, earlier in 2024, which means this year. So we have here Abubakar and his colleague who are perpetual kidnappers who have taken kidnapping as a serious business. And it seems they are highly recalcitrant. Abaka Idris, give a mic. What is your name? Abaka Idris. Abaka Idris. Which which town are you from? Which town are you from? Abuja here. Are you? They born you for Abuja here. They born you for Abuja here. Yes. For how long you been in Abuja? Abuja. Gidam Mangoro. For how many years you been in Abuja? Forty. Forty. They born. I have forty three years. You are forty three years old now. Now. For how long have you been in kidnapping in Abuja? Abuja. And it's ever on. Sir. I work in the center of the country in the average 2015. 2015. Yeah. You've been to kidnapping. Yeah. For, for your friend took you to Abaji for kidnapping business. So you've been to the business in 2015. How many people have you kidnapped so far? How many kidnapping have you carried out? Need. Not a bajo the show of the location. Not a Sunjan is your own location. Munja Abaji. Munja was a woman that came to me. He never got down, okay, very much. You know, you have a cigarette, 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 
2015, they kidnapped somebody around the Abaji area that uh, soldiers uh, later followed them, but they were never able to get them. But now we have got you. Gentlemen of the press, you can see that since 2015, he has been in kidnapping in the Federal Capital Territory. But with the renewed efforts of the police to make sure the Federal Capital Territory is safe, and every community in Nigeria is safe, we have been able to arrest Abaka Idris, who has been in business for the past 20, since 2015. And this is for the Federal Capital Territory residents to know that the game is still on. We are doing what we should on a daily basis to make sure these kidnappers and criminally minded elements are apprehended. And for some of them that are smart enough, can leave Abuja, leave our state, leave Nigeria. They can go to anywhere they want to go to. But they should know that the game is up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.